Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing Akali in our A through Z challenge. We have her in the middle lane against Yasuo. For some context, I'm doing the A through Z challenge that I gave myself, which is to play every champion, which is 91 as of today, from Ari to Ziggs, just to try them out, you know? We have 91 champions, I play like 6 or 7, so it feels like an injustice not to play them all, you know? So that's what we're doing. And just to point this out, might not be obvious to you guys, this is not a guide on how to play Akali. This is really just me trying out all the champions. But if you do play Akali a lot, let me know if you see the mistakes that I do, whether that be the items that I buy or the times that I upgrade the wrong ability, things like that, right? So quick lay of the land, her passive, if you hit a champion with their abilities 1, 2, or 3, the next time you do an ability, she gets extended range. First ability shoots out five shurikens on the floor. Second ability gives her a shroud, which gives her increased energy regeneration, which is what she has instead of mana, and movement speed, plus she's invisible. Her third ability is like a mark and dash, so like Aram has a snowball, the same premise except she does a backflip when she throws her mark, and her ultimate lets her jump from one point to the next with doing damage until she lands in her destination, and then she can do that again. I believe it's like a reset. Now I'm not sure what our Panthan is doing, he hasn't really gone to any of his camps, but I did see Camille at the blue buff, so it looks like Pantheon might engage on her. She, that's where he's pathing anyway. Yasuo is missing, so I believe they have a ward there as well, and Yasuo's going to go help back up Camille. So I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, trying to get there. I see Camille really low, so I flash, try to get her, and these are some extra damage that I'm doing. I try to ignite her to get a a kill, but you know, Jack's got a, a single kill, then you got a double kill on Kale. So, if Yasuo is still here, best point of action is to let Jax get the third kill. So, we all jump her, jump him, Yasuo, let Jax get the kill. So, that's three kills in a minute and a half. We're off to a good start. Good game so far. I'm pretty sure Jax is having a great time this game. And Pantheon has yet to get any of his jungle camps cleared, but we're doing progress. I recall at a pretty decent time, and as we can see, my turret's untouched, and the wave is actually slowly coming my way, especially because Yasuo doesn't seem to be freezing it, he's just hitting them just to hit them, which is nice. If he had frozen it, I'd be in big trouble, I think. Thankfully, that's not what happened here. Okay, so I'm going to slow this down so you guys can see what's going on. You see how the map turned lighter? I'm assuming that somebody is at the Scryer's Bloom, not my team, because I don't see anybody there. So I shroud the second I see that because I know somebody's there. It's Camille. I have level 5. Neither Camille nor Yasuo have level 5. So I need to take care of this before they level up to make sure they die. So I go for Camille first. I'm, you know, button smashing here. I'm hoping for the best. I'm not really sure if I played this correctly. You guys can watch this in real time later. But paid off. That is awesome. And that's the really cool thing about Akali. She just looks cool doing crazy combos. I guess the one good thing is that I utilized the passive that was unconsciously done by walking out of the circle to do extra damage the next time I do an ability. And that's really cool. You can tell that because she has like a cool big scythe animation when she actually has that proct. You see that right now it's like swinging, which I guess indicates that she'll do extra damage the next time you hit a, an ability. At this point, I should be really recalling, but you know, it's a staple of my identity at this point to not recall at the right time. Instead, I'm gonna take the honey fruit, attack this turret, maybe I'll get a plate and recall. But instead, I'd like to wait for Yasuo to come back and, you know, show me what's what. So he is flashing. He's going in on me. So I am shrouding to make sure I avoid that. At this point in time, I have 1,500 gold that I can spend. Am I going to spend it? Absolutely not, because that makes no sense to me, right? If you are watching my videos, please, please, please don't learn this from me. Do better than me and recall when you have a good time to... Like, I'm really not doing anything in this lane, rather than just farming an extra minion or two. But, I can already purchase my Rift Maker, so there's really nothing of value for me. Even though Pantheon came to gank, I should just recall, right? Like, he gave us an out. He ganked, so Yasu would get away from me. So now I can recall safely and freely, because when I get back, the lane's actually going to be in a reset function. But instead, I see Yasu overstaying his welcome, so I overstay my welcome. I have 10 seconds left for my cooldown, or for my ultimate cooldown, and what do you think I'm going to do? Am I going to be smart about this? No. The second my ultimate comes up, I get trigger happy, 
and I disengage. Is this the smart thing to do? Absolutely not. Look at that. It doesn't even pay off. I flashed. I walked back into turret range for no reason. I have one HP. Yasa was looking for blood. I used my ultimate to get away from there, but this was just a big waste of time. And you'll notice that the video is only like 7 minutes long, so this match is a pretty quick one. Camille oversees her welcome, and Yasuo is here. But this time I have Riftmaker, and this is what one item can do to your gameplay, right? Me and Yasuo are stalemate. With Riftmaker, I believe I'm getting a triple kill, which is super crazy to me. I'll slow it down to tell you guys what I think I did. Whether that's right or not, I don't really know, because again, I don't play Akali very much. So if any professionals are out there, pro confirm down there in the comments, tell me I did it right, tell me I did it wrong, tell me this was just luck, in which it probably was. Alright, so I marked Yasuo with my third ability, and the second he got away from turret range, I dashed into him with a third ability second option, and look at all this damage, that's absolutely crazy. Riftmaker stacks just rack up so fast with somebody like Akali. And I used my first ability right there against the wind wall, so that did absolutely zero damage. Well played. You can see Pantheon in my lane. Yasuo tornadoes me, ults me, even though Pantheon is right there. So, you know, stunned. Trying to get the kill on him. I completely miss my shuriken. Kale uses her ultimate to save his life. So now Kale is free range for me. So we're just attacking her. Yeah, she's focused on Pantheon. I'm focused on killing Kale because she's the immediate danger for Pantheon. Which really pays off later. So that's a free kill on him. Kale. Now Yasuo is pretty low, proccing my passive, hitting him with my passive extra damage, which makes sure he dies. He windwalled in the wrong direction, I believe. It went self and that's why it hit him. Now it's Camille against Akali with 1 HP. Let's say 10 HP. Make sure I proc my passive. Just doing super damage. And I get away from the tried proccing my passive. I think I missed there. Pantheon with the super awesome stun to make sure I get the third kill. And here it is in real time. And I promise you, in the middle of this game, I was just button smashing and trying to figure out and hoping for the best that the combos that I'm doing worked out. Like you can see, I miss a few of my abilities here and there. The good reason, the good thing is that Kale completely ignored me and focused on Pantheon, even though I'm 2 and 0, which would have given them a nice gold benefit. Yasuo went back in there with 0 HP, so that was a free kill. The only thing I think I got lucky on was Camille. I missed my passive proc there, but Pantheon came back with the stun, which is amazing. And at that point, the enemy team surrendered. So that's GG. That's two champions out of 91. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video of Akali. And, you know, let's look forward to the next one, which I believe is going to be Akshan. And I'll play him in the middle lane. I already have that one done, so I just got to voice it, edit it, and publish it. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and again, if you see anything wrong with them, let me know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying this, let me know that in the comments down below, or if it's boring, also let me know that in the comments down below. Either way, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, day, month, year, you know, how that Friends theme song goes. Anyway, talk to you all soon later. Bye!